السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم ہیئر حافظ محمد عمار کو ٹیچر کورس مائکرو بایولوجی کوڈ بی او ٹی این فور ون ٹو ایٹ ٹوڈے لیکچر نمبر سیونٹین از اباؤٹ پیور کلچر آف مائکرو آرگنزمس ان ٹوڈیز لیکچر وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ جنرل انٹروڈکشن اباؤٹ ہاؤ ٹو اپٹین پیور کلچر اینڈ ون آف دا پیور کلچر ٹیکنیک دیٹ از اسٹریک پلیٹ میتھڈ The term culture is more generally used to refer to a selective growing or a specific kind of microorganism in the lab. It is often essential to isolate a pure culture of microorganisms. A pure culture is a population of cells or multicellular organisms growing in the absence of other species or types. A pure culture may originate from a single or a single cell or single organism in which case the cells are genetic clones of one another A microbial culture or microbial microbiological culture is a method of multiplying microbial organisms by letting them reproduce in a predetermined culture medium under control lab conditions microbial cultures are foundational and basic diagnostic methods used as a research tool in molecular biology microbial cultures are used to determine the type of organism its abundance in the sample which is being tested or both It is uh, one of the primary diagnostic methods of microbiology and it is used as a tool to, deter- to determine the cause of infectious diseases by letting the agent multiply in a predetermined medium. Bacterial isolation, purification and identification are the first steps to bacteriological studies. Isolation is done to obtain a pure bacterial cultures. Bacteria are usually isolated from the tissues or organs that usually harbor the disease causing bacteria during the infections. To obtain a pure bacterial culture is the first step to bacterial identification. Pure culture is essential in the study of morphology, physiology, biochemical characteristics and susceptibility to antimicrobial agents of a particular bacterial strain. Pure cultures are best obtained by using solid media uh, by streak plate or pore plate method. We will discuss later in these lectures. The identification of bacteria pathogen is important in diagnosis treatment could be implemented only after the causative agent or the bacterium has been identified bacterial species differ in micro uh, morphological physiological and biochemical characteristics and those can be used when uh, coding or labeling them Therefore the identification is accomplished by performing several morphological physiological and biochemical tests Results of these tests are compared to establish taxa or identification schemes Bacterial cultures could be preserved for future study storing in appropriate medium preserves bacteria cultures The simplest method is by subculturing or by transferring the organisms to fresh solid medium that has a mineral nutrient content to prevent bacterial overgrowth. The bacteria are allowed to grow before storing in the refrigerator or are covered with paraffin film and stored and at room temperature in the dark. Another simple method is by deep freezing of the bacterial culture. stocked in a both medium with glycerol glycerol is uh, added to prevent the 
desiccation of bacterial cells. Bacterial cultures may also be preserved by freeze drying or lyophilization. In this method, water is removed from the frozen bacterial suspension by sublimation under vacuum. Bacterial cultures should be properly labeled or coded before storage. It is important to label the tube or vial for storing bacterial cultures with an permanent ink. The label or code should include the reference number and other pertinent information such as source of sample, uh, its host like animal or its uh, location, uh, date of isolation, special properties, identification, name of the person who isolated the organism and the date of preparation of the stock culture. To study bacteria in the lab, it is important to obtain a pure culture. As earlier, before the development of pure culture techniques, scientists studied mixed cultures or cultures containing several different kinds of organisms. Researchers could make observations of different shapes and sizes of organisms, but they could find out little about the nutritional needs or growth characteristics of individual species. Today, pure cultures are obtained by isolating the progeny of a single cell. Simple as it seems now, the technique of isolating pure cultures was difficult to develop. Attempts to isolate single cells by serial dilution were often unsuccessful because two or more organisms of different species were often present in the highest solution. The method of bacterial culture used in the clinical lab including stick culture, lawn culture, stroke culture, stab culture, pore plate culture, shake culture and liquid cultures including serial dilutions. Special methods are employed for uh, culturing anaerobic bacteria. The sweep plate method is used for uh, estimating bacteria in the dust on clothing. Critical to the development of microbiology during its golden age when uh, the advance in culturing techniques enabling the isolation and pure culture of specific microorganisms. The study of pure cultures made it possible to determine the properties of specific organisms such as its uh, metabolic characteristics or its ability to cause particular disease. It also opened up the possibility of classifying microorganisms on the basis of the characteristics they display in pure cultures. The artificial culture of any organism requires a supply of necessary nutrients together with the provision of appropriate conditions such as temperature, pH and oxygen concentrations. The nutrients and conditions provided in the lab are usually a reflection of these found in the organism's natural habitat. It is also essential that the appropriate steps are taken to avoid contaminations. One of the ancient method, Koch's technique of uh, spreading bacteria thinly over a solid surface was more effective because it uh, deposited a single bacterium at some sites. However, he tries several different solid substances. Using the discovery of uh, one of his associate's wife, Angelina Hasse, he settled on agar as the ideal solidifying agent. Only very few organisms digest agar and uh, in 1.5% solution it does not melt below 95 degrees Celsius. 
Furthermore, after being melted, agar remains in the liquid state until it has cooled to about 40 degrees Celsius. A temperature cool enough to allow the addition of nutrients and living organisms that might be destroyed by heat. Bacterial isolation can be done using a general medium wherein various bacteria can grow and, and the selective media that allows growth of specific genera. Examples of general media are nutrient agar, triptych soya agar and brain heart infusion agar while examples of selective media are thiosulfate citrate bile sucrose agar for uh, vibrios type and glutamate st starch phenol red agar for aerobes and pseudomonads. Media are supplemented with the 1 to 2 percent sodium chloride if to be used for marine species while adjusting the pH of the culture media to 7.2 to 7.4 by adding 0.1 normal NaOH solutions. Steak plate method In microbiology Streaking is a technique used to isolate a pure strain from a single species of microorganisms, uh, often used bacteria. The dilution or isolation by streaking method was first developed by Leffler and Gafke in Koch's lab, which involves the dilution of bacteria by systematically streaking them over the exterior of the agar in a petri dish to obtain isolated colonies which will then grow into the number of cells or isolated colonies. Streaking is a rapid and ideally a simple process of isolation dilution. The technique is done by diluting a comparatively large concentration of bacteria to a smaller concentration. The decrease of bacteria should show that colonies are sufficiently separate apart to affect the separation of different types of microbes. Streaking is done using a sterile tool such as cotton swab or commonly an inoculum loop. Aseptic techniques are used to maintain microbiological cultures and to prevent contamination of the growth medium. Streak plate, if properly done, is the most practical method. In the streak plate method, a loop full of the inoculum is placed near the periphery of the plate with agar medium and spread or streaked over the upper portion of the plate with parallel overlapping strokes. The inoculum is streaked over the other portion of the plate so that isolated colonies could be observed in the last streaked area. Streak plate method is a rapid qualitative isolation method. The technique is commonly used for isolation of discrete colonies. Initially require that the number of organisms in the inoculums be reduced. It is a, essentially a dilution technique that involves spreading of a loop of culture over the surface of an agar plate. The resulting diminution of the population size ensures that following inoculation individual cells will be sufficiently far apart on the surface of the agar to affect the separation of the different species present. In the streaking procedure, a sterile loop or swab is used to obtain an uncontaminated microbial culture. The process is called picking colonies when it is done from an agar plate with isolated colonies and is transferred to a new agar or gelatin plate using a sterile loop or needle. The inoculating loop or needle is then streaked over an agar surface. 
on the initial region of the streak many organisms are deposited resulting in confluent growth or the growth of culture over the entire surface of the streak area the loop is sterilized by heating the loop in the blue flame of the burnson burner between streaking different sections or zones and the lesser microorganisms are deposited as the streak prog uh, streaking progresses the streaking process will dilute out the sample that was placed in the initial region of the agar surface the materials required for streaking plate method you need a source of bacteria either it is a stock culture or a previously streaked agar plate or any other inoculum source an inoculation loop a striker or a lighter a bunsen burner lysol 10% agar plate either it of nutrient agar or any other agar medium and paper towels sterilize the inoculation loop in the bunsen burner by putting the loop into the flame until it is red hot pick an isolated colony and spread it over the first quadrant approximately 1/4 of the plate using close parallel streaks immediately streak by the inoculation loop very gently over a quarter of the plate using a back and forth motion flame the loop again and allow it to cool go back to the edge of the area one that you just streaked extend the streaks into the second quarter of the plate area 2 flame the loop again and allow it to cool going back to the area that you just streaked extend the streaks into the third quarter of the plate flame the loop again and allow it to cool going back to the area that you just streaked extend the streaks in the center fourth of the plate flame your loop once more incubate the plates overnight at 30 degrees celsius uh, 37 degrees celsius here is another example i just described the method step 1 where you apply the loop of culture as i told you earlier in first streaks first quarter of the streaks you can see on the number 1 area there will be heavy confluent of the growth as more of the organisms drop on the media and we flame the loop and apply second quarter of the plate you can see the uh, growth is lesser than the first quarter and we again flamed the loop and applied in the third quarter of the plate there is more lesser the growth and the fourth quarter after flaming the loop the colonies of the bacteria are more thinner as compared to the first quarters streaks are more clear in these pictures observe the colonies on the agar plate to determine the purity of the culture pure cultures should show the same colony characteristics not overlapping a drop of culture on a wire inoculating loop is lightly streaked across the top of the agar in region 1 the loop is flamed the plate is rotated and a few organisms are picked up from region 1 and streaked out into region 2 the loop is flamed again and the process is repeated in regions 3 the plate is then incubated you can see the difference of the cultures after incubation for 16 to 20 hours check for bacterial growth check for uh, luminescence under dark conditions marking the luminous colonies you can see in the right side of the picture with a pencil pen non permanent marker 
as shown in the figure right isolated colonies should be observed in the last strict area select representative bacterial colonies based on the difference in shape size and color uh, you can see in plate 2 uh, plate 2 uh, on the left side of the green color of plate mark selected colonies from each plate subculture onto the tripped case soya agar plate and incubate overnight the use of sterli uh, sterilized aseptic technique ensures that the new medium will contain organisms of only single species here you can see different streaks methods you can use in your streaking math uh, streaking cultures significance and limitations of the streak plate method the streak plate technique is the most popular method for isolating specific, specific bacteria from a sample containing a mixture of organisms streak plate technique is used to grow bacteria on a growth media surface so that individual bacteria colonies are isolated and sampled samples can then be taken from the resulting isolated colonies and a microbiological culture can be grown on a new plates so that the organisms can be identified studied or tested when the bacteria are streaked and isolated the causative agent of a bacterial disease can be identified streaking plating is a microbiologic laboratory method that has two major disadvantages firstly users will not be able to grow obligate anaerobes using this method secondly only organisms that were viable in the original sample are able to be grown
here are the references where from the lecture are prepared you can also study from these sources thank you very much